Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. It's a very warm 4th of July. I hope you're all enjoying good weather too. We had a few little sprinkles, but it was so misty that you wouldn't have, if you weren't outside, you wouldn't have known it was raining. Well, today I'm going to talk about color, how it affects you when you're eating. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you go to, to buffets, they have two dishes usually that you can choose from and they're either a, a burnt orange or a blue or a green. You never see a white dish. Um, you might see, um, you never see a black dish. You might see a blue dish, but it's rare because color has a lot to do with how much you're going to eat. With, if you're trying to lose weight, you might want to put yours, your food on a blue dish, but make it a, a darker blue because the darker the blue, the less you want to eat. If you had a black dish, you would, the food would not look appealing at all because black dishes are not appealing. Restaurants will use a white dish. When you go to a fancy restaurant, the reason they use a white dish is it makes the food, food look more elegant, so they will use a white dish. They might even use a dish that has a border around the outside. Not too many do that. It's usually just a plain white dish. And um, if you use a brown dish or a purple, blue, turquoise, or green, you're most likely to eat a little less. But if you use a red or a yellow or an orange, you're going to eat a lot more because yellow makes you feel happy. Red makes you feel like you're on fire and ready to go and raring to go. Um, orange stimulates the brain. It increases your activity and stirs the sensation for hunger. Um, the red also will make your, your blood pressure rise. But red, I wear red, I wear a lot of red. But the reason I wear red is because I'm kind of gray, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. I'm a little gray. Um, red is a color that typically, if it was in clothing, they consider it a power color. It's um, not the one that you would wear if you're going for an interview. If you're going for an interview, they should, you should wear a more of a dark color, like a black. And if you're going for a second interview, you should wear more of a brown because it says that you're open to, to um, suggestions. Uh, let's see. Blue is a calm color. So the lighter the blue, the calmer you are. The darker the blue, the, the less hungry you are. And a lot of times, if you're going to eat and you want to cut down on what you're eating, use a smaller plate. Instead of using the big dinner plate, use maybe the luncheon plate. Or you could use even a smaller one if you wish. Did you know that if you put your um, spaghetti and sauce on a white plate, you will eat 20% more? Because the red sauce and the white dish don't clash. They, it, show, it stands out. But if you put the spaghetti on a red dish, you'll eat like 20% less. Because the, the dish kind of confuses you and you think you've got a lot more sauce and a lot more pasta there than what you actually do. So that's interesting to know that too. I also want to say thank you. I had a couple people give me a shout out. And the thank yous are going to go to, one of them is going to go to Tony. She, it's um, Creative Chica Halls. She does um, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General Halls. She shows the things that, that she purchases and brings you through the store. Um, to see what there is. It's really very interesting. If you don't like to shop, you get to shop vicariously through them. And I also want to thank Barb from Total Control Beauty. Now Barb was doing a cooking little show with, with Bella and she was talking about peeling eggs and she doesn't like to peel eggs and she said, well maybe Nona Grace's eggs would peel easier. No, my eggs would feel, peel even harder because my eggs are um, very fresh. The fresher the egg, the harder they are to peel. The older the egg, the easier it is to peel. So she buys already peeled eggs. A lot of people do that. I like to peel eggs. In fact, when I'm peeling them, I think of me as like the hot dog, people that are in a hot dog contest, I would be in an egg peeling contest. 
And I think I would do pretty good, but I would have store-bought eggs if I was doing that. I would not want to do them with farm fresh eggs because farm fresh eggs are really hard to peel. I do have a video that shows how I, I prepare them so that they do peel and they will peel without pitting them. But it does take a little bit extra care when you are peeling. You can't go as fast as you can on a store-bought egg because they don't peel as easy. The inner inner um, membrane will stick to the egg and it makes it harder that was um, and also well, another thing I want to talk about is a lot of times people will talk about being on fixed incomes and then they would look at my husband and I who were working at the time and they'd say they can't do this and they can't do that because they're on fixed incomes well the people that are working are probably on fixed incomes too because now my husband who is salary he never makes any more than he's than what each week it's exactly the same and where I worked you were never allowed to work over your allotted hours you had to work within those hours you couldn't go less and you couldn't go more so we were basically on fixed incomes so those of you that are retired and you know your Social Security or your pension or whatever is stays the same it never gets larger you're on fixed incomes too well there's a lot of people that are working are on fixed incomes also even though they're working I know there are jobs where if they get ready to retire that they can put a lot of overtime in some places allow that and some places don't now I work at a place that did not and my husband has a job that he could work he could work there day and night and still make the same amount of money he, he would not be making more because he is salary so that was another thing I wanted to mention well, it's 4th of July, and I thought I would make this a little early because as soon as the firecrackers start going off and the um, sparklers or things that go off on 4th of July that make a lot of noise, my dog starts barking. He thinks he has to protect me from all that noise that's happening. So enjoy your evening, stay safe, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye.